How to Become an Audio Engineer, brought to you by JobSearchChannel.com. What's going on today, you guys? So today I'm going to be talking about the question of, is a music producer a DJ? So I've been working as a music producer for almost 10 years now, though. I'm still learning things every single day. Um, when you start a career in music, you kind of have to understand that because of the ever-changing environment and ever-changing technology, you're always going to be learning. You'll never quite be at a place where you plateau unless you make that decision for yourself. So it's one of those things where you'll always be asking questions and always be getting different answers throughout your time in music. Now, I got started as a music producer because music's always been a huge passion of mine. I actually started off as a singer and guitarist. I was playing in different bands. And I kind of wanted to get in on the other side to see what music production was all about. I did a few internships at some studios out here in L.A., which were wonderful. I learned so, so, so much. And I eventually landed myself a job where I've been working full time for the past two years as a producer, composer and writer at a sync studio here in Los Angeles. Now, you might want to know the answer to the question of is a music producer a DJ because the terms have become a bit diluted over the years, and DJs and producers that are hearing this will laugh because it's very, very true. And it can be confusing to many who are kind of new to EDM or dance music or the electronic music scene in general. And this is especially true because the amount of technology DJs have at their disposal seems to kind of blur the lines between the two. Now, in my experience, here are a couple differences between DJs and music producers. So for starters, DJs play and mix music that is already made together. The, the, the term DJ and DJing dates back a while, back to you know the late 70s, and even and that's just in the live sphere. I mean, and you can go back to the 60s and 50s, and you have radio station DJs, etc. A DJ might use effects, they might use looping, they might use a couple other techniques to change the sound or structure of an overall track. Though they aren't actually creating the track itself. Now, the main thing to note is that if you're watching a DJ, maybe at a club, maybe at a festival, at some venue, they're not creating the music right then and there. They're just simply mixing different pieces of music together to make a set, let's say. Now, a producer, on the other hand, is someone who creates music for the most part. And they, even the term producer is a bit diluted now, but for, for this sake, we'll use the fact that they do create music. Now, they might create their own original works as well as remix other producers' tracks. It really kind of depends. Producers are also artists a lot of the time. Of course, a DJ can be a producer and vice versa. You know, there are tons of great examples that come to mind You're right off the bat. You have Skrillex, uh, Daft Punk, my, one of my favorites, Bonobo. These are all great artists and producers who, beyond getting in the studio and making their own music, will go out and play live and DJ their own tracks, DJ their own music, or DJ other people's music just for a sort of live experience. So, yeah, it really depends, and there are some, some blurred lines. So to kind of answer the question most plainly of, is a music producer a DJ? They can be, and a DJ can also be a music producer, but to keep things clear, we like to define them separately so as not to kind of dilute their definitions. All right, guys, that's uh, pretty much it. Hope you guys have a better understanding of what a music producer and what a DJ does. Uh, if you guys have any other questions, please be sure to check the description and get in touch with us. All right, take it easy.